Teleportation has always lived in our imagination as something almost magical and full of wonder. We dream of stepping out of a cold, snowy morning and suddenly finding ourselves on a warm, bright beach, far away without any planes or travel delays. It feels like something taken straight from science fiction movies, but real science is different. Scientists have not teleported people or objects. When it comes down to quantum states, there are physical rules which say you cannot copy them. They have teleported only a tiny piece of quantum information between two quantum computers just 6.5 feet apart. Yet the way this information moved felt unreal. To understand what truly happened, we must explore the quantum world with careful curiosity. The nature of quantum information. To understand quantum teleportation, we must first understand the strange nature of quantum information. Normal computers use bits. A bit is zero or one. It never blends the two. A bit is like a switch that can only be on or off, nothing mysterious. But quantum computers use qubits. A qubit is different because it can be zero, one, or both at the same time. This strange state is called superposition. It happens because quantum particles do not have fixed positions or identities until we measure them. Before that moment, they exist in a cloud of possible states. A qubit is like a switch that is partly on and partly off at once. Only when you check it does it settle on a clear answer. This allows quantum computers to explore many possibilities at the same time, instead of moving through them one by one. Imagine taking a test with many questions. On an ordinary test, you answer one question at a time. But with a quantum test, you answer them all at once. This power gives quantum computers incredible potential, but it also makes them very fragile. Any slight disturbance can destroy the delicate superposition. Heat, noise, movement, or even stray energy can ruin it. Scientists must protect qubits using ultra-cold temperatures, heavy equipment, and careful engineering. When scientists teleport quantum information, they are not moving a physical object. They are moving in this fragile state. They are transferring the identity of a qubit from one location to another without letting it collapse too early. Achieving this, even across a distance of a few feet, is difficult. It requires precision, stability, and deep knowledge of quantum physics. Yet this is the foundation of quantum teleportation, and the reason the recent experiment is so important. The term quantum teleportation may sound like the stuff of science fiction. Entanglement and how distance disappears. The next key idea is entanglement, one of the strangest features in quantum physics. When two particles become entangled, they are no longer separate. They behave like two halves of a single system, even when they are far apart. A change in one particle is reflected instantly in the other. This instant reaction makes entanglement feel like magic, even though it is a real and proven effect. To imagine this, think of two pens, one blue and one red. You place each pen inside a closed box. You cannot see which is which. Then you send one box deep into a jungle and the other to a snowy mountaintop. Until someone opens a box, it feels like each pen exists in both colors at once, just like Schrodinger's famous cat that is both alive and dead until observed. But the moment you open one box and see a blue pen, you instantly know the other pen is red, no matter how far apart they are. In quantum physics, this connection is stronger. The particles do not simply reveal fixed colors. They actually take on linked states only when measured. Einstein famously disliked this idea and called it spooky action at a distance because it suggested that space itself did not behave the way we expect. Yet experiments have confirmed entanglement many times. It is real and it is essential for teleportation. Entanglement creates a bridge between two locations. It makes distance irrelevant for the quantum state. If one particle changes, the other reacts without waiting for time to pass. This connection lets scientists move the identity of a particle from one machine to another without transferring the particle itself. Essentially says particles are particles and they hop from place to place with a particular probability. It allows teleportation not of matter, but of information, and it is one of the most beautiful and mysterious features of nature. The teleportation process in action. Now let us examine how scientists actually performed quantum teleportation. Imagine three photons, which are tiny particles of light. Photon A carries the quantum state we want to teleport. Photons B and C are prepared to be entangled. 
Photon B stays in the first computer near Photon A. Photon C is placed in the second computer. Because B and C are entangled, whatever happens to one will affect the other instantly. To begin the teleportation, scientists make photons A and B interact using a device known as a beam splitter. This causes their quantum states to blend in a specific way. After interaction, scientists measure photon A. When they measure it, its superposition collapses. It can no longer hold multiple states at once. The measurement result, which includes information about the interaction between A and B, is then converted into classical data. This classical data is sent to the second computer. It does not need to travel instantly. It can move at normal speed through wires or signals. When Photon C receives this information, it uses it to change its own state. It transforms itself until it becomes an exact copy of what Photon A used to be. Meanwhile, the original quantum state of Photon A is gone. It has been destroyed, it cannot be retrieved, but the important part is that Photon C now holds the same state that A once held. This is teleportation. The state disappeared in one place and reappeared in another without the particle itself traveling. Scientists used complex tools such as lasers, crystal structures, filters, and measurement systems to make this possible. The process demands incredible accuracy. A small mistake could break entanglement or destroy sensitive information. Managing all of these steps inside real quantum computers is a major achievement and shows that teleportation is becoming more practical each year. The long journey to this breakthrough. Quantum teleportation did not appear suddenly. It took decades of research to reach this moment. In 2002, scientists teleported the quantum state of a laser beam. It was an early demonstration, but it proved that teleportation was possible outside of theory. In 2006, they teleported information from a laser into a cloud of atoms. This was more complex and showed that different systems could share quantum states. That's one of the big breakthroughs in computers is going to be quantum computing. In 2012, researchers teleported a photon across a city using fiber optic cables. This experiment captured public attention because it involved real-world distance. Yet none of these experiments used quantum computers as endpoints. That is what makes the new result so impressive. Scientists teleported a qubit state directly between machines designed for quantum computation. This means teleportation is moving from experiment to technology. Ordinary computers use wires, Wi-Fi, and networks to transfer data. Every bit of information has to move physically through space. Even light has a maximum speed. But quantum teleportation moves the state without transporting the particle. It bypasses the normal limits. If this can be scaled, scientists could link many small quantum computers into one large and powerful system. They would not need the machines to touch. They would not need bulky cables. They could simply teleport states from one machine to another. Today's quantum computers are extremely fragile. They must stay near absolute zero. They cannot be moved easily. But teleportation could allow repairs, upgrades, or expansions without opening the machines. It could let scientists replace failing components instantly by moving quantum states into new hardware. The current 6.5 feet distance is small, but the concept is enormous. It marks a step toward future quantum networks that may one day span cities, countries, or even continents. Why human teleportation is still impossible even after learning all this, many people wonder whether humans could ever teleport the way particles do. Unfortunately, the answer is almost certainly no. A human being is made of trillions of particles. Each particle inside every cell would need to be measured with perfect accuracy. The amount of information this requires is beyond thought. Then, all that information would need to be sent somewhere else. And finally, a new body would need to be rebuilt atom by atom in another location. This alone is overwhelming. But the true problem is deeper. In quantum teleportation, the original particle loses its state. It is destroyed. The new particle becomes a copy. If we applied this to humans, the original person would not survive. A perfect copy might appear somewhere else, but would that copy actually be you? Does your mind travel or does it end? 
Are your memories, emotions, and personal experiences simply information stored in particles, or are they something more? Even if a copy believes it is you, does that matter if your original consciousness no longer exists? These questions make human teleportation troubling and possibly impossible. The idea becomes even more disturbing if we imagine repeated teleportation. What if each jump slowly changes you? What if parts of your identity are lost along the way? A technology that destroys the original to create a copy may never feel safe or ethical. That is why planes, trains, and ordinary travel remain far more comforting. They move your actual body. They keep your consciousness intact. They avoid the deep philosophical risks hidden inside teleportation. For humans, the cost would be far too high. But for particles and computers, teleportation is a powerful and promising tool. Quantum teleportation does not move bodies or objects. It moves fragile quantum states in ways that break our normal sense of space and distance. Scientists are slowly learning how to guide these states with care and precision. Each discovery brings us closer to advanced quantum communication and powerful new computers. These breakthroughs show how strange and beautiful the universe can be at its smallest scale. Even if human teleportation remains impossible, understanding quantum teleportation helps us imagine futures shaped by new ideas. If this exploration sparked your curiosity, remember to like the video, share it with others, and join us again for more fascinating science.